kaysa nagligat no nga pila ka semana ang aton nga provincial government no sa kuno And um, we are actually with different people, there are different groups, farmers group, women's group, who are actually supporting the organic agriculture in Negros and also supporting the ban against GMOs. Why, what's, uh, what's the significance of Negros for, her, for your uh, movement? On um, ne Negros is actually one of the pioneers of uh, banning GMOs and pushing for organic agriculture. And as such, they're actually in line with what the United Nations is calling for, which is a return to eco-agriculture that is not based on agrochemicals and you know, does not actually involve the use of GMOs to provide food security and actually it also actually ensures that there will be biodiversity in the future. What do we start? Uh, two weeks ago, or three to two, three to two weeks ago, Ang uh, provincial government, sa kundin panalawigan, uh, they did a review no, of Ordinance 007, series of 2007, which is the uh, banning of GMO into the province. No? And uh, well, uh, right now the ball is, at, is with the provincial government, with the, particularly with the Sangonian Pandalawigan, as to whether they will amend the, the ordinance or not. No? Uh, for us, we believe that there is no need to amend the ordinance. Whatever uh, the things that are not clarified can be incorporated in implementing rules and regulations. No? And uh, besides, uh, there is a need to continue with the ordinance if the province would like to pursue its uh, policy to make the island organic.